when Dad used to come home drunk every Christmas. It was awful. Oh, I remember it. Mom would be so mad. I just thank you, Lord, that before he died, you, you saved him and you got him off alcohol. And then after that, Christmas was great when we were all serving you, Lord. It was wonderful. I remember Dad and I would go and, and pick out a tree, and then we'd bring it home, and Mom would go, How much did that cost? And we'd tell her, and she goes, Oh! She said, but it's nice anyway. <laughs> and then we would all decorate. We'd make uh, popcorn and cranberry strings, and we would decorate the tree. It was really wonderful having the whole family together like that. And I remember Christmas Eve, we'd go to the service, and it was always anointed. It was really good. And I remember playing the Christmas record. And then Christmas morning, opening all those presents. It was great. I loved it. Oh, I tell you, I really miss my parents. I really miss them, Lord. You know, I wish I had, I wish I had somebody to give a present to. But I sure'd like to get one, even if it was just one, Lord. Oh, well, I guess I better be going. What's that, Lord? You want me to talk to him? Him? Oh, Lord, he's just an old man. I don't know, what am I going to say to him? Well, you want me to cheer him up? Aw, uh, okay, Lord. You're right, I'm sorry. Forgive me, I'm being selfish. Forgive me, Lord. Hi there. Merry Christmas. My name's Laura. My name's Pete. I wish it was a Merry Christmas. Well, why isn't it for you? My wife, Rosie, died a few months ago. Oh, I'm so... She meant everything to me. And now life has no meaning. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, my parents died this year, and I was just thinking about uh, when we used to have Christmas together. One thing in particular I remember. We used to have a record that told the Christmas story, and uh, we would take our manger scene, and as the story progressed, we would put out the different... Uh, statues of Mary and Joseph and everything, and it started off with Mary and Joseph going into Bethlehem, and of course there was no room at the end, so they stayed in the stable, so we would put Mary and Joseph in there with the animals, you know, the oxen and the cow and everything, and then it told about how Jesus was born, so we would take Jesus and put him in the manger there, and then it told about the shepherds that were, um, watching their flock at night and all of a sudden there was a bright light in the sky and they looked up and it was an angel and they were absolutely terrified but the angel said fear not for behold i bring you glad tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord and you this shall be a sign unto you you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger so all of a sudden there were a whole angels in the sky and they were all singing and praising God and then all of a sudden they were gone and the shepherds looked at one another and they go hey Joe you see that yeah yeah I saw that did you see? yeah well let's go go to Bethlehem and check it out so we took the shepherds and we put them there and they found Jesus just like the angels told them and then we would put the shepherds there with their sheep and they all they worshiped Jesus there and then it's all about the wise men God had sent a star and they followed this star right to where Jesus was and we would take the the uh, wise men and put them there and they presented Jesus with gifts of gold and, and frankincense and myrrh and they worshiped Jesus as their king. And then at the end of the record, it, it explained a little bit about why we call Jesus our savior, because he saves us from our sins, and he is the one that we go through to go to heaven. So at the very end of the record, when the record was all over, we used to sing happy birthday to Jesus, and it was a family tradition. You know, I really miss that this year. Well, you know, I remember one Christmas where my Rosie went with a couple of people to go to this church pageant uh -huh. and they saw the same kind of thing and she came home and she said that she had accepted Jesus Christ oh, as her Lord and Savior right, yeah. but I, I didn't understand what she was talking about and and she would just show me stuff in the Bible but uh -huh. it, it just didn't seem to make sense to me at the time and I kept putting her off she she would ask me to become uh, to accept Jesus into her heart and everything but I didn't, I just kept putting her off, and, and now she's dead. Oh, you know, Pete, it's not too late. You can accept Jesus Christ 
right now into your heart. You know, it's a free gift, but it's the best gift you'll ever receive. Oh, I don't know. I'm so old, and it's too late. Rosie's dead. No, no, Pete, it's never too late. As long as you're alive, it's not too late. But God is calling you now. He wants you to accept it. He'll give you meaning in your life. And you know, when you die, you'll, you'll go up to heaven and be with all the other children of God, including Rosie. Well, never before did I feel so much like a sinner. I feel like I can't handle it anymore. I know that what, what my wife told me was true. I know that what the Bible is telling me is true. Just looking at what you were telling me, I, I, I can't handle it anymore. I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Oh, that's wonderful, Pete. Listen, we'll bow our heads and you pray, okay? Oh, dear God, I just barely understand what Lord and Savior means, oh God. But I just ask you, Lord, if you could just take these sins away from me, oh God. If you could forgive me, oh Lord, just lift this burden, please, dear God. Oh, how, how was that? That was great. You know, see, you just gave me a Christmas present. Did you know that? By letting me um, lead you to the Lord, that's the best present anyone could ever have. Tell me, how do you feel now? Well, I feel a whole lot better. Really? Great. I don't have that burden anymore. Wonderful. Hey, Pete, i got a great idea. Have you had dinner yet? No, I haven't. I haven't. Well, I went to a great restaurant last week, and as my Christmas gift to you, I'd like to take you there and have dinner together. How, would you like that? Boy, I haven't had a good meal in a long time. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, great. Come on, let's go. You're really going to like this place. Oh, wait a second. I forgot my purse. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for our, for our great Christmas present, our new friend, Pete. Thanks, Lord. Thank you. Hey, you're really 